Hmm. I see you have awoken from your slumber. One might say it was about to be an eternal slumber. How are you feeling? Where are you? Have you forgotten? I was outside looking upon a tree in the courtyard, enjoying the insects and checking on my chrysalis that are about to awaken humble butterflies. When I was out there, cleaning out their birthing areas, you fell from the tree, already unconscious. I haven't seen you before, so I was suspicious. But once I asked around, I learned we had new cleaning staff joining us today, and for whatever reason, you were up in the tree. Do you have any explanation for that? Oh, you were running away from the wind, Ashira. He said he wanted to kill you. Well, that doesn't surprise me. He can be a bit hot-headed. Well, I surely do apologize. You seem to be nice, even though you do look kind of funny. <laughs> well, I have done an analysis of you, and you do look like you've done quite a number on yourself from falling out of that tree. You broke your collarbone. That's the worst bone to break, you know. So, let me check some vitals on you, okay? I am going to check your blood pressure. Alright. So that's what this cuff is. It's going to go on your arm. And it's going to puff up. And it's going to feel tight. So don't panic if it gets too tight. I promise it won't be for long. See? That wasn't too bad now, was it? Interesting. You have a low blood pressure. Have you eaten today? Here are some crackers. Those will make you feel better. Or should. It's a good thing you fell in front of a medical expert unlike the others. I at least know how to help you. Now, let me hear your heart beat. I'm going to put the stethoscope on your skin, and you just breathe for me, okay? Oh wait, you seem nervous. Your skin is on fire. Well, this is going to be a bit cold to the touch, okay? Don't worry. Take some deep was the last time you had a good night's rest? You look absolutely miserable. You stay up at night? It's peculiar. Even with demons out and about at night? Oh, you must be a security guard. That's exactly it. Wandering the village to warn demon slayers of any demons, huh? Such a dangerous job, and Yet a vital one. I'm proud of you. Alright. I'm going to administer some medicine, okay? I believe you have a sickness that demons have. Some demons roam villages in disguise and spread disease by leaving their spit or cells around. It's a plague. And I think this is what happened to you. You're lucky I found you. So... Here is the medicine. I know it's a scary needle, but you are brave and strong, and I know you can handle it better than anyone. So don't worry, okay? And the needle is going to go in in five, four, three, two, one. Ah, there it is. You see? so bad now, is it? I know this medicine will help. Just sit there and hold your arm and count. Shinobu, 
wanted to let you know I need some help mending this injury I have. Ah! What the hell? What are they doing here? I just tried killing him. He's, he, he's a demon! Not only that, but he eats other demons. I hate that. Yes, I am aware that they are demons. I have tricked them into letting me poison them instead of healing them. They are nothing but a pathetic waste of space. Wishing for my comfort. It's almost humorous how safe I made them feel. Do you feel that demon? It's starting to really burn now, doesn't it? Your whole body has become numb. And your eyes should start melting here soon. <laughs> Demons are so gullible.